Hi, welcome to this question right here. So we get a division problem right here, but the question wants us to do the model first, which is a diagram. Now this diagram is going to get really, really big because you're taking something that is uh, a two and a third, and you want to figure out how many one eighth is in that. Okay, so it, the diagram is going to get really, really big. Now, if you want to see how it works, I will I'll suggest you go to the first part of this question, the part eight of this uh, this this type of questions, and take a look at the work. But just to solve this problem without using the diagram, actually, would be simple because what happened is if you go three times two, remember we want to change into the improper fractions. So you would take the three and you would times by the two. And then don't forget to add a one on the top. So it's like a little circle thing. So three times two is six. Six plus one gives you just seven. So the first one is a seven over three, right? Now for the next part, you don't want to divide. Now dividing in our head for our brain, it's just not easy to do. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna call it multiplying. But how can you multiply? How can you just change it, right? Well, we can because what happened is if you're going to change it to the multiplication, you're just going to have to flip the 1 with the 8, okay? So the 8 will go to the top and the 1 will go to the bottom. So the final answer would be just the 8 times 7 across the top, okay? And divided by the, oh, sorry, which is 56, and divided by the 3 underneath, okay? And it looks like a nice number. Maybe it will work out. Maybe it wouldn't. Uh, actually, it wouldn't. Sorry about that. So 56 over 3 is your final answer for this question. Now, if you want to change it into a mixed fraction, then you just have to think about, okay, how many times does my 3 go into 56? Because I have my calculator. I already see the answer. Uh, it turns out there's 18 of times. That's why I say I don't want to draw the diagram because you'll pass this whole screen right here and the remaining will be just two and a three over three left over, okay? So that's your two, uh, two different types of the answer depending on what question, the format that they're looking for, okay? Thanks for watching.